these aircraft actually this weekend. They're strange looking things, but um, they have a absolutely brilliant display and fly. A very experienced uh, Mirage uh, fighter pilot in the French Air Force, and alongside him, Javier Fontenot and uh, Mikhail Mayer. And uh, although Rail uh, initially built and developed this aircraft using Bert uh, Rutan's design, um, he uh, very quickly realised the potential for uh, displaying this as a three ship. And uh, here you are now uh, seeing them. They're going to go through a number of really classic uh, manoeuvres, graceful turns, loops, uh, they do stall turns and things like that. Uh, right now they're going around in their three ship known as the Passage Public en Formation Chevron. Material in the form of a sandwich, a mixture of epoxy resin, fiberglass cloth, carbon Kevlar, polyurethane, and uh, it's a technique which is used in much larger aircraft, uh, you know, like the uh, both modern fighter aircraft like the Mirage, but also the Airbus and the ATR. 42 as well. And the uh, final addition to his playing around with uh, the difference really between the, you know, what uh, it was initially uh, envisaged by Bert Rutan and now the uh, Acro Easy um, is the addition of these little light depth planes. And uh, it uh, just increases the, the uh, performance generally. You fly around about 350 kilometers an hour in this, about 25 liters of fuel an hour, and uh, a tremendous uh, range. So you can see it's quite a nice touring aircraft as well. The command of rail there in the uh, lead aircraft and pulling up into the Boucle, as he described it. Better French than mine, I wonder why. Uh, it's just so spooky little aircraft though, they're uh, brilliant to uh, sit in and watch. Great visibility out of those cockpits, but they remind me of Star Wars X-Fighters. I think that's just terrific sports aircraft.